Welcome. I like to call this practice sloga. We sneak and creep into the hamstrings and the rotators. And you have to be a little sneaky in those areas. So standing at the center of your mat, so you have width there. Go ahead and inhale your arms up, reach. And then slowly exhale, fold forward and down. Let the hands just be received by the floor and kind of walk them right and left. And feel for your breath and you get a bit of a diagnostic, what's going on with the hamstrings today, right? If there's resistance, bend the knees. If they feel pretty open, lean in, right? So that you enter the conversation with the hamstrings gently and also with compassion. Then slowly place your hands on your shins and inhale, lift for Ardha. That means half Uttanasana. And then exhale, fold forward and down. This is like delicate inhale, hamstrings, I'm coming for you. Exhale. All right, one more time. Inhale, yes, that means my back needs to lengthen. Exhale. Right, so that ripple happens and then bend the knees a little and roll up. So roll up so that you can scoop the low belly into the back body and then reach the arms really, really wide, stretch. Fold forward and down once again. This time weave the hands behind the head. Elbows can be wide or narrow. Lean in though and make certain, yeah, that the Upper traps are moving up, and that really activates through the back, particularly in between the shoulder blades, and feeling that work allows the neck to traction. So remember, you're the one doing this. If it feels like it's being pulled too hard, back off. Slowly, the hands release. Bend and roll up, bend the knees and roll up. Hands to your heart center, just because it's slow doesn't mean it won't be challenging. We'll do a little bit of a dynamic Utkatasana. So all that means is bend the knees, come into Utkatasana right there, sit into that fierce pose, and then reach the arms straight up. And three times you'll inhale and you'll come really tall up, and then you'll bend those knees and you'll go right back. Inhale, mm -hmm. you exude that strength and exhale, sit. On this final one, add a tiny back bend and then fold forward and down. Hands on the floor, lean in, inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, fold. Again, knees bend and roll up. So we're getting that ripple through the spine, awakening all those muscles. Mm. Now come to the top of your mat, do a variation of the sun salutations, hands at your heart center in prayer. May I release in my hamstrings, may I be open. Inhale, the arms come all the way up, reach. Exhale, fold forward and down. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, that right leg comes back, knee lands on the floor. Hands stay on the mat and you just stay steady there for a moment. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, the left leg goes back. You'll find your way into plank pose here. Plank pose, a knees, chest, chin. A bend in the knees, a bend in the chest and the chin. Forward you go, sliding. Elbows come in with in the collarbones. Release the chest down, forehead down. Do two more of those. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, release down, right? Opening front of the chest. Inhale, come up. Exhale, come down. Go ahead and push back into child's pose. Right? You always know you can take this shape. In sloga, though, we take it whenever we need, right? So we're lengthening the breath and we're looking for the spaciousness in the body. Downward facing dog. Mm -hmm. 
Right leg lifts as you inhale. Right foot steps. Exhale, lower left knee down, top of the foot. Inhale, just peek your gaze forward. And then gently step the left foot forward. Inhaling, exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up. I need back bend, really, really reach. And then exhale, fold forward and down. This time you'll lead with the left leg here, stepping back, landing the left knee down, top of the foot, and then you'll shift the pelvis forward and back. So you just go about a half a dozen times, slow enough that you feel like something's happening underneath the right hamstrings and something's happening in front of the left upper thigh, your quads. After that sixth one, step the right leg back, plank pose. Again, a bend in the knees, a bend in the chest and the chin. Thigh bones roll in, toes point, elbows squeeze towards each other, lift and release. Two more just like that. Inhaling, lift and release. One more time. In, 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 in. Out. Push back child's pose. Right? If the body says, oh, I wanted plank and reverse, you say, I'm meeting myself with slowness. Slowness will yield a huge benefit. Unitasking, right? Single pointed attention. Downward facing dog. You can take all of your time off the mat to be a whirling dervish, or you can like use the mat as a teacher and imagine it's constantly being rolled out in front of you. Lift the left leg, step the left foot forward, land the right knee down, top of the foot, and then again, six times, maybe seven, pelvis up and back. And this is that feeling of just like threading the breath and letting it come into the pelvis so it's really just being in that space of more breath. When that round is completed, step the back foot forward, put the hands on the shins, inhale, lift the chest, exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, hands, heart center. Inhale, sweep the arms down and then all the way up. Exhale, fold forward and down. Inhale, lift the chest. Step whatever leg you prefer back into the plank pose. Slow chaturanga yogi push up. Low cobra or up, whatever you're preferring right now. Downward facing dog. Hear the breath here. Step that right foot forward, warrior one. So warrior one with the arms coming up and as the arms come up in warrior one, you'll just settle here. You'll be here for a while. Breathing in and out. If you can, you begin to focus on the outer part of your right knee coming back to the outer part of the right hip, coming under and really lighting up the strength in the inner thigh. Arms come forward and down now, downward facing dog. Opposite side, left foot will step please, right heel will turn in, inhale, arms come up. Again, attention on like a sense of siphoning up earth energy from the arches of the feet into the bones, to the muscle, to the fascia, to the skin, right? And the breath cascading through the body, moving the water. Arms slowly coming down, downward facing dog. Skipping vinyasas, right? Slowing it down. 
amplifying the breath and toning back the urge to just go, go, go. Right foot steps, left heel in, yep, warrior one yet again. This time, take the hands behind the back, weave the fingers with the right thumb, leading, and then bow forward, humble warrior here. So you fold forward and down, right shoulders on the inside. If the back heel needs to come off, let it. Squeeze the right inner thigh left. Yeah, good job. Sometimes you overpower even yourself with your strength, right? You never know how strong you are. Inhale, come up. Keep the arms as they are. Now I'd love for you to come off the back heel. And this is where you might need a stutter step. You're gonna launch into a little bit of an airplane with the right knee bent and the left knee. I love this one, so it's hard for me not to demonstrate it when I'm doing it. Yes, uh-huh, go for it, I can touch. I always say this, but there are a lot of things to be serious about in life, and this pose is not one of them. Slowly land that left leg back best that you can. Arms come forward and down. Downward facing dog. Pedal the feet. Inhale to the plank. Lower all the way down. All the way down. Roll the thigh bones in. Take the hands back further, just like by your floating ribs. This will give you space in the chest. Go ahead and lift the chest. Inhale, lift, widen those collarbones. Be bright in the center of the chest. Lift, 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 lift. And then slowly release, wonderful. Push back child's pose. Downward facing dog. Left foot will step, right heel will come in, warrior one, inhale the arms up, right? So much excitement about this side. Take the hands behind you, left thumb leads. Humble warrior, fold forward and down. Inner thighs squeeze, arms reach, right? So this is that moment. Can you tend to your edge and can you back off? Can you go a little further and then back off? Inhale, come up, keep the bind. Come off of the back heel. So you come off the back heel and I like to shorten my stance. So you maybe wanna step that right foot in. The left knee, the standing leg will stay bent and go ahead and launch yourself up. And uh, if you need a couple stutter steps, not a big deal. If you wanna employ more strength in the legs, go ahead. Employ it, and then slowly land that right leg. Arms come forward, and then slowly down to the mat, downward facing dog. Walk the hands to the back of the mat. Index and middle finger in between the big toes. Parangustasana, that's what it's called. Inhale, lift the chest, and exhale, fold. So this is just another way to access the hamstrings in a forward fold. Body is super warm at this point. Breath deep. Inhale, lift the chest. Walk the hands to downward facing dog. Step the right foot forward. Land the left knee on the mat top of the foot, and then send the hips back. This is Ardha Hanumanasana, half split. If you're someone who's always eager for a split, feel free, slide the right leg forward, maybe a little bit left leg back. If not, just be right here. A lot gets unpacked and released in the layers right here. So just be with it, be with it, with the breath, with the opening. Wonderful. Bend the right knee. Come out of there, downward facing dog. Left legs turn, go ahead. Left foot steps, right knee down, top of the foot. 
hips migrate toward the back of the mat. Mm -hmm. Bend, breathe. Bend the left knee, downward facing dog. I believe when you're working hamstrings and releasing pelvis, a lot of breath and quiet so that whatever needs to come up for you can come up for you. Inhale to the plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lift the right leg up when you inhale. Step the right foot forward. Now move the right arm on the inside of the right knee and ankle and move the left leg a little left. The back leg can go a little left. And then slowly, if it's available, come down onto the elbows. You can move the right leg a little bit right. Right in this pose, you squeeze the right inner thigh a little right. And yes, I love to rock a little bit forward, a little bit back, right in that space of opening, opening, opening. So by keeping the back knee off the mat, you keep this pose awake, and it means you have to recruit the muscles. So the hands come down onto the mat. See if you can sneak that right leg back and up. So down dog with the right leg in the air, right? Down dog with the right leg in the air. And then slowly release the right leg down. Left side, inhaling, lift and step forward lower back knee down and then rise it yep rise that back knee flex the foot and slowly take the left arm on the inside come on to the forearms and begin to rock forward and back right so the the knee can be low for the whole time for those of you who need that support right terry's got a strong foundation here and so she can have the knee off and you breathe and you squeeze in. Gently, slowly, hands down. To release is to sweep that left leg back and up so it's down dog with the leg in the air. And then slowly, left foot joins right, child's pose. Go ahead and sit up in your child's pose. Mm. Feel the breath. So very slowly, bring the right shin bone parallel to the top of your mat. Mm -hmm. So as you do that, you can bring yep, your left leg out to the side. We'll come into skandasana. Yeah. So from that space, you'll stand on your right foot here. Go ahead, you yeah, got this. And then lift, yeah, and then lower down. Now you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Creep crawl over to the other side, be on the left shin bones, foot comes up, you'll land, lift, this will just get you in the front. And then slowly lower, and then bring your knees together. Sit still. So now you will come into what is called a modified pigeon pose. And I really like this pose because it's very accessible. So go ahead and sit on your bottom and just bring your legs forward. So your right shin, you'll fold it in so it becomes parallel to the side of the mat. So it just folds in, yeah? And your left leg will come back. And this is a little confusing. Just listen to my words. Bring the left heel to the left buttock. You got it. And then bring that right shin forward. So the right shin bones, they're parallel to the top of the mat. And this makes it accessible for everyone, especially if you have deep congestion in the rotators. If that's a lot for you, you stay there. Most people have room to bend forward. If as you're bending forward, you don't feel it in your outer right rotators, you can go a little bit to the right. And I really believe that this pose is one of those poses you just delight in. You just like feel so wonderful. If that left foot would like to be flexed and come a little bit left, it's almost like a half goddess in that leg, right? It's, 
knee and thigh, creating that angle there. And interestingly enough, on the other leg, it's shin bone and thigh creating that angle. Inhale, slowly come up and just give yourself the relief of bringing the left knee forward to meet the right foot and then just bring it around as comfortable as you can, okay? So the transition there is just like give yourself a cross leg seat and then slowly take the right leg out to the right, heel staying close to buttock. The left leg is already positioned and set up. Sit up tall and then go forward. So it's fine for the right thigh to be off the mat. You really can't rush the release in the pelvis. There are age old stories there. So you just take your time. Slowly come up. Cross the legs one more time just to feel what that's like. Breathe. And then go ahead and lie on your back. So you'll lie on your back for three dynamic bridges. Okay, so you just feel the floor first. And then the knees bend and the heels slide into you. And you lift the pelvis up, low back, mid back up and then slowly come down. And then you go right again, lift it up, and then slowly come down. Final one, up, pelvis is up, back of the legs, hopefully feel that effervescence of lifting, of strength, of wanting to work. And then slowly you come down. Move your pelvis, yeah, move your pelvis to the right, and your knees to the left, easy twist, easy twist. Mm -hmm. Little rinse and width in the collarbones so the shoulders feel like they're opening you up. Little twist through the spine. When you come back to center, switch sides. That will also mean pick the pelvis up and move it to the left, yes. And the knees go back over to the right. Come back through center and set yourself up for Shavasana. So allow the body to feel heavy, right? The feet, knees, pelvis, ribs, shoulders. Let everything fall to the floor. Maybe this practice can set the tone for your day or your evening. Unhurrying is so important in life. Thank you so much. Namaste.